Hey, Michael, how you hey. doing, man? Good to see you. Good morning. Welcome to Blue awesome. Thanks. Growing up, every everybody that you know played music that I love was wearing Wranglers, and and you know so were all the people that I looked up to and respected a whole lot. You know I've had my Wranglers on whether it was working or whether it was uh, being on stage or whether it was out on dates or what have you. They're still my go-to uh, jeans now. I got into music when I was a sophomore, I think, in college. Uh, I had. I always love music, but uh, you know when you're when you're playing basketball, you're just sitting there if you don't have a game and you're not practicing. You, know, you got a lot of hours to fill. So for whatever reason, I asked my mother to uh, bring a guitar. It wasn't too much longer after that I learned a few chords that I wanted to start writing songs. When I started playing music, my coach found out that uh, I was doing both, and he was uh, not too pleased. And I was told that I was no longer allowed to play music, at least during the season. Um, uh, but man, the bug had bitten me and, and I knew I had a passion for it. So rather than do what I was told, I just started playing under a pseudonym. Paul Wayne Walker was his name. It was a, a, an amalgam of my mother's maiden name and a, and a songwriter from Mississippi that I really liked at the time. I moved to Nashville, right, to, to be a songwriter. The right opportunity hadn't come by and I ended up thinking about what else I might do if I wasn't playing music. So I applied to Harvard's Extension School and they have a pre-med program for folks that have already graduated. But then I got the opportunity that I'd been um, been hoping for in a publishing deal that turned into management, that turned into music. Yeah, there was a time when I was, I was gonna make my passion a hobby. Having some success playing music and, and having some success writing music is just, you know, it's really a dream come true. The most gratifying thing, you know, when you're a songwriter is for is for your music to matter to people. So when they're singing it back or they care enough to show up and come and have a great time, man, it really, uh, it's really a special thing. Having Wrangler and Boot Barn support my music, it means a lot of things, you know. It, it, it's sort of validation from something that, uh, that I, products that I believe in that I've used. And those kind of partnerships are great because not only do they you know, support me, but they also, you know, prove the passion that, that uh, both Boot Barn and, and Wrangler have for country music. And I think, um, you know, as a country music listener, as well as a someone who makes the music, you know, that, that really matters a lot to me. Trying to keep your memory out of reach, but there you were in the Delta night, the sun, the